this is a quick little run through on how to install the required files for Substance Painter 2's paint spec maps. It's really simple, it'll take no longer than five minutes. Um, so first thing you want to do, open up my YouTube video that I made a few days ago, how to paint specular maps for your mods, FS19. Uh, scroll down to the description, I linked a quite a few links. Um, the one you're looking for is Substance Painter Shell Folder. Uh, just select it, open up the link, download, um, and then once that's done, all you gotta do is drag and drop onto your desktop, like I have now. Uh, just select the file, right click, extract to shelf. Once, that, uh, once that's extracted, uh, just select it, shelf. And then what you're going to do is hold left click, slide, select all, right click, copy, uh, then go to your documents, scroll down to algorithmic, go open it, substance painter, shelf, and then what you're going to do is right click, paste, um, it'll come up with this, uh, the de destination has 48 files with the same name, or however many files it tells you, uh, just replace. It'll tell you a different number because you have not installed the certain materials yet, but I have, so that's why it's telling me I have 48. Um, so once, once that's done, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, now you can just close, close it, delete the files. Uh, and then up, open up Substance Painter. Now you can uh, go to File, New. I'll just open up a, my roller just to show you guys. Uh, just OK. Now um, go to Brushes, Dirt. Now you can uh, open up the Properties tab, Properties Paint for the brush. Um, Scroll all the way down to material. Now you can select the color and dirt, and it'll also give you the moss wear. So, yeah, that's basically it. Um, something else that I found really useful for painting spec maps is um, in the properties panel, right below this uh, material, it has a base color, and it's white right now. What I just do is this tab or slider right here, just drag it all the way down so the it is black. And uh, I'll just change the opacity and the flow. Now it's it's easier to to tell where you've painted before. Way easier actually. Um, normally, it would sort of look like. It would look like this, so it's, it's really hard to tell where you've painted. That's a pretty important thing to look out for because it might not look that intense in Substance Painter, but once you get into Giant's Editor, it'll look really intense, and that's one th big thing you want to look out for is to not have a spec map that has uh, too much dirt or too much wear on it. So yeah, um, something else that I forgot to mention in the last video, um, you don't have to buy Substance Painter. Um, I mean, what I really do is just <laughs> make a new email every 30 days so I can get another free 30 day trial. That's It's really simple. All you gotta do is go to the Substance Painter website, make an account, and then you can download the app, um, Substance Launcher, uh, and that'll give you the Substance Painter tab right here you just gotta press launch and then once it's opened up it'll give you a, a tab for uh, signing in your account once you've signed in your brand new account it'll give you 31 days of uh, free use which unless you're painting a lot of spec maps um, that's more than enough but I mean 
for someone like me where I don't really paint spec maps that often, but like I still use it a fair amount. Um, it's per kind of perfect. Like I would not waste my money. I guess it's not wasting, but I would not spend all that money just to paint spec maps for a game. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. It's really simple. Um, I probably should have mentioned this in the last video though. Uh, my apologies. I kind of left a lot of people hanging in there. Um, so yeah, it's pr it's pretty simple. Like, I don't know why I didn't <laughs> mention it, but now I did. Now you guys can, you guys know how to do it. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Um, thanks for watching. Hope this helped. Talk to you later.